Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight for 12 News at 6. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Cadiva Devine. Governor Katie Hobbs finally addressing concerns over extreme heat at Perryville Prison. The I-team broke the news last week that the Department of Corrections' own records show that some of the cells hit more than 100 degrees in the middle of July. The governor's response comes after the I-team's Erica Stapleton heard complaints from dozens of inmates. And tonight, one woman who's been on the inside tells us why the state should take more urgent action. It's a perspective we don't often get to hear. It's something that I vowed to speak out for these women. Former Perryville inmate Sarah Schweigert. It's bittersweet, but it's also like this place changed my life. It saved me. Now speaking up, trying to save the other incarcerated women at Perryville. It's a travesty to me that it's been all these years in prison in the desert and our mothers and our sisters and our aunts and our family and even the men too, they're, they're suffering. Sarah spent five years at the women's prison in Goodyear, getting out in June 2023, right before July's big heat wave. What is the hottest you remember your cell ever getting? 104. Can you describe to someone what that feels like? Death. It feels like everything's melting off of you and you're never going to make it out. According to Perryville temperature logs obtained by the 12 News I team, certain cells at Perryville hit more than 100 degrees on July 17th. The department hasn't yet provided records beyond that date, but inmates and their family members repeatedly told the I team that the triple digit temps in cells weren't anything new. Are temperatures of 100 degrees in cells acceptable to no. you? No. No, no. No. Governor Katie Hobbs did not respond to several of the I team's requests for an interview last month about extreme heat at Perryville but sat down one-on-one -on -one with Team 12's Bram Resnick Wednesday. What, how did you find out and did you communicate to your prison's director that, hey, something needs to be done here? Well, I, I didn't have to communicate. He was on top of it and, and he's the one that alerted us to the, to the problem and he's taking action. Our reporting indicates he may not have been on top of it, either because he wasn't being, getting the right information or maybe just didn't grasp the situation. Did you see any evidence of that? Uh, I know. Prison director Ryan Thornell only went to Perryville after hearing extreme heat concerns from the I team in an interview on July 19th. At the time, he said he hadn't seen any reports of cells hotter than 100 degrees, despite the prison's own records showing that there were. Once he went to Perryville, he started making changes. Free ice, misters, plus warden Laura Pyle stepped down. We inherited a correction system that um, hasn't always treated people humanely, and so there's a lot of systemic issues that need to be addressed. So there's a lot that Director Thornell has been tasked with turning around there. Um, I believe he's up to the task and he's, he's doing it. Um, it's going to take a lot of time. I think it's a good start. It's not enough. It's a little too late. They've known about these issues. They've known there's been issues for years and they've done little to nothing about it. Part of the problem cooling equipment that can't keep up. They need to put in air conditioning. Another thing that stood out from the logs, that Lumley and Santa Cruz, the two units with swamp coolers, not AC, were consistently hotter than cells with air conditioning. The department says AC for those two units are in the budget, but not until the end of next year. I need to get some water yes. real quick. Just standing outside the prison under a tree in the triple digits takes a toll on Sarah. A reminder that the extreme heat inside the prison doesn't just impact safety. They're depleted. They're, they're tired. They aren't getting any sleep. To her, it hurts the rehabilitation efforts, a mission that's literally in the department's name. It's hard to want to better yourself and live in that type of environment and be tired and hot. We've repeatedly asked the Department of Corrections for another interview with Director Ryan Thornell, but was told he wasn't available at all this week. The media team still has not responded to our written questions we sent Friday over email or any follow-ups we sent this morning. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.